we'll see Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. And hi again, everybody, alongside my partner, Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Throwing Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Jones keeps it himself, and yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll be first down New England. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. On first down, Allen. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Jones will sneak it. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Hmm. Well, that wound up backfiring. Instead of handing it to your workhorse fullback or running back, they went quarterback sneak, and now they have to punt it away. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. So a chance to breathe easier now. First and ten after the fourth down conversion. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here taken in by Parker. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Jones. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone, first down. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. They get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On second down, Montgomery. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 
A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's Jones. Going to throw on third and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity, lost. After the interception, here's Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he's going to be out of bounds up past the five. And that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Here's Stafford. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. To throw is Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. The Patriots go with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. Stafford. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here's Jones. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he's taken down inside the 30. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Second and two. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. I haven't been a defensive coordinator yet to think second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. 40 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Brent, what were they 
thinking on defense there. That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Here's Allen on first and ten. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Point after here coming up. And he gets it to make it 7 nothing, Patriots. So the drive there took six plays. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to bring together a nice drive and help themselves out. Getting it to them in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Stafford's throw here holding by Cup. Second and eight. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Complete, Jefferson the target. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 27-yard line. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Again, it's Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. to throw Stafford to the goal line but it's incomplete down this close to the goal line first down surprised that wasn't a run I am and you know I'm old school I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it and that throw behind his man he missed him incomplete and the question now can the Patriot defense hold firm again on third and goal off of play action, here's Stafford. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. 
do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. Taken at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Pats at the line ready to go. With the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out they found the end zone for six and they're certainly hoping for more of the same but the game plan I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook they want to use that confidence to its advantage but also keep the defense from anticipating what's up next and that'll fall incomplete he was hit just as he let that go and now it's third down Jones now to throw on third down. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Allen's throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. And it's another first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man is born. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Looking to throw, Jones. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ty Montgomery, a 13-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped on the touchdown run by Ty Montgomery. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. It's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just get the score. Just short of the 45 at the 44. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. 
Stafford going to give this to Akers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And he's got it up first. This attack will be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. the sweep here this is Cub and he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone another strong gain on the last two plays they've moved it a combined 33 yards they'll run on first down with Akers and he'll get this one down to about the 17 there to stop him Juwan Bentley Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Stafford now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now it's Stafford. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And the Rams. Finish off this drive with six points. They'll run here with Akers. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Throwing a Stafford. And he wisely will throw that one away. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. Gay's kick is good. And the second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, Barton, when you're losing... Any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Take it in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The pass at the line, ready to go. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Jones keeping it on the sneak. And he gets it down to the 32. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going. So they call low risk, low reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Play 
action. Now it's Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. Allen off the play fake. It's Kelsey on the ground. And it's been for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. Right hash mark of 42 yard attempt. And the 14 year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will extend their lead here to 17 6. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line as they take over with exactly one minute to go. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. To throw again on second down, Stafford. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Third and two, Stafford. Man, open, it's cup. He's got it. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again at Stafford. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Stafford. And rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams.
set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And the half will begin with a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that will carry over. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Going right back to Akers. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 33. A third down gain of 19. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. A give up the middle to Akers. And not much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second and eight coming up. Now Stafford. And yeah, that was going to be off target and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Pats are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Evans here. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Montgomery. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. 
right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 26. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Allen now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Parker. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing the game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 82 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Here's a sneak with Jones. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. They'll run with Strong, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Off play action, Jones. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of look at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. On the give, this is Akers. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And the Rams got it. They bring it down. Buried by multiple defenders. Defenders on the drive's first play. After the sack here, second and 11. And off comes Montgomery. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great level. and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. They're going to try and throw. That's to his running back, complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've
goals. He's been quick. He's been decisive. Throw in Jones. Caught Kelsey left side. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Mike Evans, his second touchdown of the night. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to... Getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in the league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. <laughs> to the air again, Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 28. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. On first down at Stafford. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 25 on second down, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. Touchdown! Cam Akers, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Ty Montgomery in the offense drive he's been a good workhorse I know we use the word workhorse a lot but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one no doubt about it and there's nothing wrong with that that's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you big guys up front have created space
we've run through it. He's probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Jones. A thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. On the move past the 40. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devon 66 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D. Well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Stafford here. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before. To the 45. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Stafford looks to throw again. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Stafford. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The Rams on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and four. Stafford. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because uh -huh. here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 124 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. 
a give. This is Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line is on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. To throw on second and six. Jones. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41 yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. The Patriots send out their punter as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Throws to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. A high throw there as this is knocked away. Down the ground and incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Jones throwing to start the drive. Open man, the tight end Henry. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. And Jones gets in. Touchdown, New England. himself from seven yards out and the Patriots start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth but Charles in this win they've really just had one speed and that's been all out they're still driving the ball downfield despite the circumstances and the big lead and they just continue to find ways to get into the end zone with ease they're certainly in that zone where almost everything they try is successful and often leads to points Teams don't get those types of games very often, so when they do, many of them just want to take advantage of it to the last second. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. <laughs> and they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Well, yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw again on second down, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And able to use a stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down, a pretty good gain. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. 
It's complete to Robinson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Now Stafford. Open man right side is cup complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Again, it's Stafford. Throw left side complete. That's Powell. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. From the red zone now, Stafford. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Higby. A 14-yard touchdown. Small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And a decisive advantage became even more decisive. They already had the win in hand, but they keep pressing the tempo and they pile on with another touchdown reception. Would you consider that touchdown a reward to all the tight ends on their roster for their effort today? Not just running their routes, but all the time they spend in the trenches, laying down blocks, doing the little things to help that offense succeed. And for doing all of that, they definitely want one of their tight ends to get a touchdown to really seal this ball. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. New England's offense set to go. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that was on Springs free. Montgomery loses it, and the Rams have got it back. And he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. <laughs> to throw is Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Stafford now to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And he'll go down, but not before getting Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cop complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw, Stafford. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 25. So that drive, four plays. And it's Allen Robinson who caps things off with the touchdown. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing a Stafford. And he comes back with one complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Here's Stafford. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On fourth down, Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. And they will take a knee here. The ball resting on their own five here as they come up to the line on second and long. And they take a knee. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.